Good morning, Karnam Rosic. Today is Thursday, May the 6th, 2021. It is day four of Catholic Education Week. And so with that, as we move into morning prayer, let us keep in mind the following intentions. We continue to pray for all Catholic educators, teachers, students, parents, trustees, administrators, everyone involved in Catholic education, our secretaries, our ERW, social workers, child youth workers, everyone involved in the instruction of publicly funded Catholic education. We also uh, continue to ask for the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary during this month of May to accompany us and journey with us uh, during this very difficult time of pandemic, uh, a very trying time for many of us. And so we ask for her intercession for any of the needs that we have, any of the intentions that we request that she can plea on our behalf to her son, Jesus Christ. And finally, along with Pope Francis and all people of faith across the world, we pray for a month-long global marathon uh, to the end of the pandemic COVID-19 uh, or the COVID-19 pandemic. Let us once and for all um, bring to an end this pandemic, which has really changed the world in so many ways. Uh, and so we pray, um, continue to pray for everyone affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, especially for the people of India. It is Thursday, day four of Catholic Education Week, and today's sub-theme is Harvesting New Fruit. And with that, please join me in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, creator of heaven and earth, and all therein contained, open our minds and touch our hearts, so that we can be part of creation, your precious gift. Be present to those in need in these difficult times, especially the poorest and the most vulnerable. Help us to show creative solidarity as we confront the consequences of the global pandemic. Make us courageous in embracing the changes required to seek the common good. Now more than ever, may we all feel interconnected and interdependent. Enable us to succeed in listening and responding to the cry of the earth, and especially to the cry of the poor. May their current sufferings become our conversion and awakening to a more sustainable world. And we ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now together, please join me as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Teresa of Avila, pray for us. And St. Patrick, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, day four, Cardinal Rosic of Catholic Education Week. We're almost there, but today is an exciting, exciting day. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. First, a reminder, today at 10 a.m., again, uh, on Ambrosic Chaplaincy, along with our friends over at Pocock Chaplaincy, uh, we will be journeying with the saints of education. So join us again live today at 10 a.m., and if you miss it, uh, please, you can follow us on Instagram TV. Also, uh, today is our third annual equity conference. And so today, 70, I believe 70 students and then um, staff uh, will be gathering. So it'll be close to 100 of us will be gathering uh, virtually, of course, uh, to uh, celebrate and to um, educate ourselves with our third annual equity conference. And we look forward to that. And that'll be during the school day today uh, from 845 to 1230. And later tonight at 9 p.m., sorry, at 8 p.m., special time, I apologize, at 8 p.m., live at core.ca, uh, we will have a Cardinal's Cry, a celebration of Catholic education, nurturing hope, one segment at a time. Uh, tonight we will have teachers and students joining us, including an alumni of Cardinal Ambrose, uh, sharing their Catholic story, sharing their vocation story. And so uh, that will run until 9.30 this evening, and we hope that you can join us again. Uh, at core.ca, Cardinals Cry. And tomorrow, to end our week, we will end with a prayer service, which is fitting. And we will do so at the first, um, on the grounds of the first Catholic school in Dufferin Peel at St. Patrick's Parish. As you know, we started the week talking about our unique place in history, our unique place in Catholic education in Ontario. And that is that the grounds of St. Patrick, uh, where we sit, where it sits today, uh, with the school across the street, was the first school, first Catholic school in Ontario, in Dufferin Peel. And so uh, we will be there tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, praying uh, along with and asking for the intercession of Our Lady of Knock, as well as praying um, with the pandemic cross, a beautiful cross that was erected at the parish. And then finally concluding our prayer service 
with a special prayer at the tomb of Father Francis McSpirit. And so we hope that you can join us. That's tomorrow at 2 p.m. live at Ambrosic Chaplaincy. And yesterday uh, we had uh, a spilling tea with Dr. Mark McGowan. For those of you who were wondering, where are they? Why can't I see them? Uh, we were to be live on YouTube. We had some technical difficulties getting the live feed. So uh, we were able to still have the interview. Um, and what I've done is I've already posted it on our YouTube channel. And as well, I've included it after morning announcements. Now, it, it is lengthy. It's an hour and 20 minutes. So I don't expect anyone to uh, necessarily listen to uh, the full hour and 20 minutes, but you're welcome to. But if, especially for our teachers, uh, if you go to the 42-minute mark, and this at your own time, obviously, at your own leisure, uh, at the 42-minute mark, that's when uh, we really get into uh, some uh, pretty heavy questions about Catholic education, as well as uh, the, you know, the response needed and the risks that we need to take uh, in order to really um, continue on with our system. Anyways, a wonderful conversation. Uh, please, if you have some time, have a look, and I'll include it after morning announcements. Attention all students, uh, today is your final day for the month of May to let us know um, uh, where it is that we can help you become more successful, responsible, uh, proactive, to be part of the solution, Cardinal Ambrosic, with our call-out box. So a Google form has been included all week. Some responses have been collected. And again, because it's new, we anticipate that it'll take some time for people to get used to this and to the you know, this this reality of being able to contribute in all ways uh, to, um, uh, to looking at the needs of our school community and how we can all be the solution to that. And how can we, we can all work together, staff and students, in addressing those. So today is your final day. Call out box. Google form has been provided. And again, the first month or the first week of every month, the call out box will be made available. And once we're back in school in September, that's right. Once we're back here in September, uh, we will have physical boxes placed throughout the school monthly. Let us continue on. Hello, Cardinal Ambrosic. Today is Thursday, May the 6th. So today we will have a special reading of Jedi vs. Sith, the graphic novel. Check your Google Classroom for your copy. Again, new members are always welcome. Please check out our comic club. Have a great day and may the force be with you always. Again, attention grade 9, 10, and 11 students. This is your last chance. And, and I think this time, this is it. Uh, DeVigo has promised me that. So this is your last chance to get into your yearbook. Who wants a yearbook without you in it, without your picture in it? So get your pictures in today, please. The Portrait Portal is open uh, this one final day. Uh, take a picture, send it in. It is that easy. Really, it really is. So please uh, get your pictures in. And uh, to conclude our morning announcements today, we have a beautiful video, a self-care video that has been put together from our Brave team. Uh, just looking at all the wonderful things our students and staff have done uh, in, the last, um, in the last month, the last few months to uh, self-care and how important it is during this time of pandemic. So enjoy that video. I believe it's only about a minute and a half and uh, I will include that at the end of morning announcements. And that's it, Cardinal Ambrosic. Have a wonderful day. Hey, it is sunny out there. Still a little cool, but um, spring is well, in the, well into its season. And we look forward to uh, many, many warmer days going forward. God bless you, Cardinal Ambrosic. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you tomorrow, which is Friday. Thank you. It is Friday. We'll see you tomorrow.